everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. As everyone knows, I don't mind doing corrections and corrections are necessary in this case, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I did mention long time ago that there were accusations, allegations that uh, Nighttime Audio was Roma. Uh, things seem to be moving in the other direction that they're not the case and evidence seems to be kind of in the middle. But I will correct myself in saying that those were just allegations. There is no proof that Nighttime Audio is uh, is Roma other than things sounding the same. Nighttime Audio has their own bad things that they've done. They're not an amazing person. But if they aren't Roma, then we should not put anything that Nighttime Audio has done onto Roma. Uh, there's a match with the ASMR guy. Never checked them out. I think the guy live streamed at the same time. So I think... Uh, Nighttime Audio did that to try to dispel rumors if uh, if they were actually responding. I said, I checked the stream and sure it was just playing back pre-recorded video live. While at first I was on a wary side, as which is drive around the city kind of thing without any chat overlay. But around here, like around a sp specific time, response to chat, so there's that. I mean, you could in theory have someone planted to put a chat message after expiration from stream to start. Just it seems a pain in the ass to coordinate. People were way too quick to jump the gun. Um... It's kind of hard having two separate live streams at the same time. Absolutely. If anyone pulled that off, it would get my respect. And people are, you know, talking about the person who made the original uh, rumors out uh, that they had removed their uh, their post and removed their account. I spoke specifically to the person themselves. It's because they were getting, according to them, they were getting doxxed. They were getting harassed. They were getting threats. They were getting all that kind of stuff. And at, not everyone wants to have to deal with that kind of stuff. So they deleted all their social media because they were getting a lot of threats. They were getting a lot of negativity. They were getting just a lot of things that were making them scared for their safety. So they just got off the internet pretty much for a bit. So I am just covering that because I want it to be even keeled and everything. But yes, this is a correction on my part. Uh, it just has a similar voice and that's it. You know, that's what that's where the things are going right now. So the fact that he did a stream at the same time kind of makes me believe that side. But still, like I said, Nighttime Audio has his own skeletons. Let's not push that away. Uh, so, you know, the Roma thing, for in my opinion, is closed right now. Uh, we're just going to continue on. But I did want to make this correction. As you know, I do like looking at numbers a little bit. And um, we're going to take a look at some numbers right now. Uh, XLA had 51K in their debut wave, all combined, of course. Crisis at 38. Uh, TTT had 22,000. And Denoth had 149933. I think it's around 30% for my Luna XLA, and I remember they didn't even, uh, they even did a very well-made trailer for themselves. No idea what Crisis did, but in hindsight, perhaps trying to make another all-boy band was a bad idea. Luxie Monoctics fans, K-pop fans first, and these people tend to be highly tribalist and loyal. They won't betray their Oshis at best to be hostile to some nobodies, trying to take Luxie in place at worst. Uh, the only thing I saw them ever do was Zomboid arc with Millie and interactions there. TTT, honestly, maybe they see Niji as entry-level job to gain experience and be more known, and then they will jump ship to someone else. Again, yeah, nothing, and remember, Niji doesn't even move a finger on your debut, which means they decided it wasn't worth the investment to do anything. Where do you obtain these data, vstats, etc.? These, these, these data, we also need a verification. So just let you know, it's not verified percentage-wise, but here, someone actually took a look at everything. Again, take this with a grain of salt, because unless they have actual, you know, evidence backing it up with a website or something like that, it's just taken as a, a grain of salt type of situation. So this person says average for Lazulite was 12K. Average for Obsidian was 14K with all these numbers here. Rosemary Petra doing pretty well. Average for Ethereum is 14K. Average for Luxium was 17K. Average for Noctis was 55K at debuts. Um, average for Iluna, which was all these people, they all had above 60K. So 75K. XLA 54K. Crisis 41K. TTT 26 because they all had 30, 25, 25. And the average for Denoth is uh, 16, which is still amazing. It's still very good. Here it is in a bar graph to show you how everything is. Denoth is not horrible. I mean, considering the situation that they're in with the JP, the EN side being really well in bad shape, it's not really too horrible. Generally forgot that they were debuting today. Niji Marketing at its finest. Not only you, my friend. And truth be told, I don't really care. Uh, all the malpractice and mistreatment wiped out a lot of goodwill. Luxem brought to the branch. We are back to pre luxem levels now. Kind of expected it to do a bit better simply on negative attention, making it more known. It definitely wasn't the case here. I don't think new debuts are going to uh, be what it turns, you know, what things turn out to be until they work with what they have to get positive results. 
I kind of want Niji to double down further and release a new wave every 2.5 months. Uh, that may be interesting. Uh, more ways they could, if they do that, uh, might see two digital CCVs. I don't think it's ever going to get to two digits, to be honest with you, just being um, being just fully uh, transparent. Edited due to table being destroyed. I was bored and curious about the standard deviation variation, uh, what the results are, and lots of light, all these things here, standard deviation. Ma makes me wonder how varied everyone's debut streams are going to be average CCV. I didn't remember when Nidhi Sandy used to advertise an upcoming wave. Yeah, I didn't advertise it very much, to be honest with you. Uh, so it is really strange, but, you know, it's just Nidhi Sanji, as we know. The Sandy can be kind of bad with uh, marketing. The Denath debuts happen. Uh, so people are wondering, you know, TLDRs. Some people didn't watch them. Saying about the CCVs being low. Uh, here's the thoughts of this person that actually watched them. Roma seems funny. Accusations about him kind of ruined the debut for me, especially with one of his Oshi marks being a credit card. And the constant mentioning of wanting more money for a battle pass in Apex. Clara, the big sister of the group. Like her voice, she, looks, she cooks pretty well for a maid. I honestly thought it'd be ironic that she couldn't cook. Though the scorpion eating thing weirded me out. Hubbard's was one time thing for her. Honestly surprised me at uh, Twisty. I thought she was person personified tornado, not a ghost girl that wants to be a princess. She got lovely singing voice and that video game section made me want to play it. Thought I'd be very wary of her. Those Yandere role plays in her schedule kind of put up red flags. She's acting all cutesy. Yes, the stuff with Rushia made me wary of VTubers that put up the cute act and our Yandere afterwards. Um, Roma seems like he fits right in with the other guys that have debuted in the last few waves. Very energetic and broy. Clara is ridiculously talented. She drew her entire lore video. She showed off her cooking skills. No force languages. Damn, that's a lot. And she also ate two chocolate covered scorpions just to prove the point that she would eat rather eat bugs than eat potatoes. So she hates potatoes. That's another thing. That's cool. Uh, Twisty has the Gatmoy. Squeaky and cutesy, but also super into horror, metal, etc. We'll be playing horror games for an entire first week. On top of a wave song, Clara and Twisty each are releasing covers tonight. So that's good. That thing is going on. It's it's good that they're having at least something going on. We're going to be taking a little bit of a look at Vivi, which is Victoria Brightshield from Nidhi Sanji EN. Looks like her frustrations with the company are already too much for her to bottle up. She must be talking about the NBA collab. Because recently, uh, there is an NBA collab that Nidhi Sanji is doing. She has thought about it. Still feels bad to be left out. And just because things can be faked... I am going to take a look at actually Victoria Bright Shield's actual, you know, YouTube channel, which is right here as, you know, actually Victoria Bright Shield. Uh, it says, thought about it, still feels bad to be left out. Talk about confusing when you find out publicly along with everyone else. Pain. Yeah, she's talking about the collab. She found out publicly about the collab with everyone else. And, you know, since for whatever reason, Nidhi Sanji has decided to pretty much abandon TTT and everything until recently. When now they're going to an anime an anime con in uh, I think in August. It is really sad to see that because of course every creator uh, I'm never against the talents. Every creator tries their best to be entertaining and to be something that is desirable and you know especially in the company you want to at least be treated equally. This is live Vivi reaction right here. To be fair, this is not the first time she was left out of collab. She rarely got any opportunities. Like I said, it really feels like TTT was just abandoned by uh, Nidhi Sanji EN. Uh, they didn't give them any support. They don't seem to want to be giving them any more support. So it really does suck for them to have this happen. It sucks for any VTuber, any person who is trying their best to be left out of collabs, to be left out of situations, to be left out of opportunities. No favoritism, right, right. Sai, Vivi's lost so much already. I think this is response to the NBA thing, but pretty apt for everything else that's been going on. Uh, she's talking about the WrestleTuber or something else. I think it's the NBA collab. This person's saying nobody in the Sanji will be invited or allowed to participate in WrestleTuber. Um, only way for you to climb up is to become the Upper Suit's favorite, which is unfortunately a thing that it seems to be the case. Uh, Rosemary is a fan of Lakers too, and she's not included in it. It really does suck. I wish that they didn't do this to their livers. Here we have the NBA collab with Anidhi Sanji, something I never thought I'd see the day, but Anidhi Sanji is collabing with NBA. And of course, to make sure that everyone understands this is an actual thing, it's not something that is, you know, faked or whatever, because we shot out before in another video of mine that things can be faked easily. Here we go. Here's the actual Anidhi Sanji collab notification. May 29th on Wednesday, kickoff stream with Toko, Kuzu, Petra, Shu, Sunny Briscoe. You see all these people from Niji EN. And as was noticed by Vivi in another post that I have here, um, she's not there. TTT seems to be out there uh, unless I'm missing them somewhere. Uh, maybe, maybe they are there. I'm not sure. But um, they don't seem to really be doing anything there for them. DF, Ballin, Wow. It's like, huh? 
Why are they doing this? I don't know. But there they go. Nidhi Sanji, Nidhi Sanji in with NBA. NBA is going to do this because they want to make money. Of course. Nidhi Sanji is going to be doing this because they want to make money. They want to see what they can do to make more money. Another one for the bingo cards. I don't see anything from NBA on this yet, though through Twitter or the website. I'm not sure what to make of this anything now. Kind of either didn't promote it on their side. It's probably NBA Japan thing specifically. That's why you see Niji JP heavyweights in place of Niji EN in there. Oh, so it might be a Japan Japanese thing. Because the NBA is uh, does go to Japan and other places. It does have kind of representatives in those places. So it could be one of those things. Although, yeah, I don't see anything in the NBA side, including NBA Japan Twitter. Maybe we'll see it in the next few days. What are they thinking? Who is the target demographic? Jenny, don't see basketball VTubers meshing in any way at all. Uh, baseball would have made sense because, you know, baseball is huge in Japan, but basketball is not huge in very many places outside of the U.S. Kotoka and Albin are on the list, but they're also supposed to be inactive. Why uh, can't they at least be a bit more creative with the promotion art? They're not creative at all because that's not, just not what they do. Uh, this here is 30 streamers. Niji Sanjian was supporting, supporting uh, 30 NBA teams, respectively, pairing each streamer with each team. Uh... And then collaboration project will consist of three phases from first to third, totaling three sessions. Each phase, 10 streamers will be selected for 10 teams and featured exclusive collaboration illustrations. Okay. Sales of exclusive collaboration merchandise will be done in Japan. Uh, both in Japan and internationally. Okay. That's what they're going for. Uh, it's just a weird thing to have, honestly. I don't know why they're doing it, but, uh, you know, they're going to try to make money any way they can. And now we move on to Doki Bird, which has just finished their moment in uh anime north of course uh i'm not sure if they actually ended up going or if it was a you know teleconference type thing because of course being a vtuber you can do it from anywhere as long as you are in the same area there's going to be less lag that type of stuff you know so i do appreciate that the anime north did uh invite her and of course here we have you know dragoons and everything being fine it says looks like it was a full house nice and of course me wanting to show actual proof of everything is uh, I was to lend in this picture. It's beyond an honor to speak to you, Doki, the PNG art I drew. And uh, here is thank you, Anime North, and all the Dragoons for coming in. Here's the actual picture, you know, the cosplayers, that type of stuff. It was very fun. It looks like it was very fun for her, which is always, always, always good to uh, to see her have that, uh, that definite, you know, benefit of everything. And like I said, it was one of these things, so sometimes it's backstage, sometimes it isn't. And, um, you know, this is a person that actually went and took pictures, either that or saw the pictures and uh, ask her what's her favorite hockey team, which I could, but they cut off for half the panel. Oh, dang. They cut off after half the panel. They said she was negligible. 1984 Doki saw the pic Doki posted. Glad she had a good time. And this is basically the pic that she posted that we showed before. Uh, let's go. Who brought the gun, bro? Look at the second pic. Now what a turnout. I hope she doesn't. I hope she does more panels in the future. I hope she has more, more success, more fun, more happiness. Purpose of a car company is to gather more fuel, money, and the extent that we are willing to trade to sell anything, including the engine itself. Talents. Yeah, look at your engine now. They're, they're going places without you. And I'm glad that they're going good places without them because they deserve to have the best that they can. And I'm glad Doki's one of them. I know I have been putting Sayu stuff recently, but I do want to make sure that people know everything that's been going on. Because, of course, as always, you should treat Sayu as Sayu, not as anyone that has been on part of any company before. Treat them as their current life, not their past life, not anything like that. Luckily, this person has actual evidence and, you know, stuff like that. Basically, the post is here. Uh, I'm so clued this on Reddit formatting. Here's what she wrote in her tweet. If it doesn't work out, here is the thing that she wrote here. Thank you all for your kind comments and messages. I'm sorry to you guys for always having to cheer me up. I'm constantly doing my best to be stronger and things are getting are getting better. And I've been lately, even though even though it doesn't seem like it sometimes. Uh, so thank you for all bearing with me on the bad days. Sometimes things are just hard. It's partly due to my depression, and it's partly due to how much relationships with people affect me personally. It's just an unfortunate combo. I'm kind of the same way, so I can I can uh, empathize with this. Uh, but know that you're all such make a big difference in my life. You keep me fighting the demons in my mind every day just by being here. You help me fight those demons. Uh, thank you, Synchronites. Love you so much. And then she goes with the heart. Uh, people are saying, I get worried about it talking on a stream like that since people always can record the VOD and put things out of context. That's why I didn't put the VOD in any of my videos. I don't want people to ever think that I'm doing things out of context or using her to farm views or anything like that. Especially not in a moment that was so raw, so emotional, so, you know, a, a moment of, of her just being her with her her fans i don't want to ever you know use that for content really wish i liked your content as much as i like her uh seems like she'd be fun to watch if we were doing some things i'm into no shade i'm just not into games 
Glad that she seems to be doing better. I'm rooting for her. So am I. Haunted by the past and consequences of uh, till today. But I love her community, outsider, even though uh, the one who wronged her came uh, to remind her about the not-so-bleak future. Like, yeah, it's it was unfortunate. The person apologized who did this to, you know, bringing up the past. Person apologized, and hopefully it doesn't happen again. But it is sad when things like ha happen to this to good people like Sayu. A little bit of meme time. I know there haven't been too many memes recently, so it's a little bit of meme time for you guys. Uh, let's take a look at the memes that are going on here in regards to everything that's been popping out. Uh, we have uh, Kurosanji releases a new wave, and then Gura asserts their dominance because Gura was doing Subnautica at the same time that everything was happening. Uh, people were just waiting for it. Would be quite the flex. The only stream whenever Needy's trying to do S. I'm seeing the pattern here. Four channers would go release the shark rant again. Tactical Guamba's deployment confirmed. Yeah, it's basically there. Uh, they decided to do a tactical uh, alert. They decided to go and attack, it seems like. And uh, this was made mint, uh, slash not Pomu. Hero we don't deserve, but we need. Uh, yes, wearing the panties on the face when they went to the V Shoujo collab thing where they were going onto V Shoujo Minecraft server. Nobody cared who I was until I put on the mask. Mint, probably. Yep, that's mint. That's definitely mint. That's just fun times, basically. And the last one, Nidhi Sanji NBA meme. What we do if it's offensive? How do you do, fellow Yanks? Basically, fellow Americans. Uh, moderator announcement. Send the video. Riku Tazumi to Alira, Vox, and Ike. Get ready to learn Chinese, buddy. Uh, am I misunderstanding that Yanks is short term for Yankees? It is. It's pretty shot common, I like external word for the americans uh i wish it started before the playoffs so we can follow the eliminations oh uh, that would have been fun but yeah a little bit of meme time for you guys that is all for right now of course comment like and subscribe down below thank you for being here of course i love having the conversations with you guys i love having these things with you guys and i do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment take a look at my description for my socials there's a discord there's twitter there's other places that you can check me out twitch etc and also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy Thank you.